Hey Earth Elements, welcome to your romance at work here at Spirit Fives. If you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, on the cusp, or North Node, this message could be for you. This is Interlude 3, Scenario 3, The Climax, for Raw Points, your romance at work forecast. Stay tuned and enjoy. Hey, Sub Earth Elements, the Earth Gods and Goddesses, how y'all doing? This is your Earl Points here at Spirit Vibes. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check the description box. You may want to purchase your raw story. This is the climax. And I hope I can get to that song before the end. However, if you have not been purchasing your raw stories, you've been missing out on some good info. Yes, you have. Now, let's go ahead and review real quick, do a check on scenario two. Um, as you know, we've been keeping the same energies throughout each interlude and the females or the feminines are the king of wands energy because of the four of pentacles. The masculine energies are page of pentacles energy because of the three of pentacles. And before I got started, I heard abracadabra on the masculine side. And then um, another message came that has slipped my mind nonetheless. But anyway, um, remember last scenario, we was talking about things being immaculate and elaborate and I guess whatever you was doing at work may be drawing attention, right? Okay, so um, I can't remember what the central issue was for that scenario. But we're going to find out what it is for the climax, okay? And I hope that everyone is doing well and looking forward <laughs> to uh, the ending. And we'll be bringing back a new interlude, a new season around summer. So enjoy, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. So let's find out what the central issue is for the climax as well as the overall experience or you know your energies what it's based on we're going to get the feminine and masculine special messages and what that is stemming from and a couple of clarity cards for the feminines and the masculines and we're asking source to go ahead and align these things although you all know i may forget and start shuffling because it's hard to break habits right so let's see what's going on. Centrally, the Six of Wands is the masculine's and feminine's central energy. Okay, so I'm hearing setting appointments, um, regula regulations, whatever is regular for your job that you go to, openings, like you have to schedule openings. Popularity is another thing going on centrally in your energy. Popularity. I'm hearing cold and, you know, like for us, um, people of my generation, cold, <laughs> you know, even Drake used the word cold which is like a little, it's the next generation after me, even though we may not be a whole lot of years apart. But cold is like, you, you can't get any better. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing cold work, okay? Popularity, you're a jewel. You're a jewel. You're a jewel to several people, you know. Yeah, you're on the top of your game. So the overall energies for romance and work is the page of cups. Okay, this is you overall. Um, some are promoting 
and some are producing and some are I'm hearing practicing you're practicing your speech you're practicing what you're gonna say is somebody you want to approach here yeah cuz that's the page of cups and I'm also hearing opponent I don't know where that's coming from but when I look at this cup when I look at this picture I hear opponent it's like you're waiting on your opponent you're looking for this opponent and you're you are opponent you know what I'm saying your opponent <laughs> you're on top of shit you know what I'm saying you know romance at work um, Now, I don't know what it is about your boobs, but I think you are the element that this came up for before. But it's something about your boobs, okay? And I'm also hearing a point. And I don't know if this is a point to make. You have a point to make. Or like a, a point, like you are, you are appointed, like uh, you are going to appoint someone or something. It's a lot coming out of this page. Cups, unusual for me. It's all based on the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is, and I don't know why I keep hearing practitioner. The Queen of Pentacles may be a practitioner, okay? But she's also management, okay? She's managerial material. Um, she may be your supervisor, and this is the person who's appointing you in this position, okay? Because I keep seeing setting appointment, being open, being inviting, greeting others, becoming, being popular. But this, this Queen of Pentacles looks like she got something on her mind. It's kind of like, hmm, I could use her for something. I could use her. Hmm, she's just the right type. Earth signs. And it's funny, this could be you because this is Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. And what I noticed too, you all, when I began to look at the cards prior to rolling the tape, is that the feminines and the masculine are equal when it comes to um, their position, their. Um, in terms of their stability. Totally equal. Some of you even got some stuff to the side. You know? But when I say this last scenario three, the climax, the feminines and the masculine are equally yoked. Literally equally yoked. They the same. So if you are romantically involved with another earth sign, you're equally yoked. Okay? That's a great balance. You both come into the table with something. You know what I'm saying? You both come into the table um, I see able to provide you know like where she, you got the masculine got the pancake, she got the syrup. You see what I'm saying? That kind of thing. There's a rhythm here. But again, at the beginning, it was abracadabra. And that was coming more from the masculine side. He's trying to make something happen. Yeah. So before we do the special messages, let's go into some clarity and find out the reason for the Phenom's energy, which is still focused on gaining stability, focused on building their craft, focus on um, and some of the feminines are focusing on holding on to what they have. They have 
about two or three things that they feel like they have to hold on to. Whatever you have, that's the biggest I see that you are comfortable with is set to the side. But there are three material things, person, place, a thing, anything that's a noun. It could be anything. It seems like you're trying to hold on to it, though. That's the difference. The masculines, they look like they can play a little bit. They can play a little bit. Which, again, makes it a great balance for the feminine and the masculine earth elements. Because if he can play a little bit, if he lose, she's holding on to stuff. She can fill in. You know what I'm saying? Because some, um, especially May earth elements, they are really good at gambling. This page of pentacles may be a gambler. Okay? So let's find out the reasons for the king of wands, um, the feminine energy, king of wands, focusing on um, their goals, their endeavors, where they want to go, their passions, even if it's love, even if it's feelings, as well as the masculines and the reasons for the queen of pentacles and why he is still studying. Could be this woman studying what, what, what he's been told regarding this woman. Still trying to figure out this woman. Still trying to get information on this woman. Because he feels like she's magical. And I think I've been saying that since the beginning. Like she just do stuff other people don't do. He's never seen other women do what she does. You know what I'm saying? Top and bottom, please. Feminine and masculine. Feminine's on the top, masculine's on the bottom. Thank you. Feminine has the king of swords. Masculine's have the nine of wands. So, It's something that you're looking into, feminines, that you're investigating, that you're thinking about writing, that you're thinking about saying. It's the reason for you managing and holding on to your stuff. I don't know that this could be about money. This could be about taxes. Because you're trying to hold on to a little bit of something here. But for some of you, this is about some type of investigation. It may be on your job. Through your work. I don't know. And, and for some of you, you've been given some advice on what to go after. Based on this manager. Based on little mama. Because some of you work in the home. So you... Uh, uh, right now, you are mother and father. You have to play the double roles, right? So you're going after something because of some advice. And you feel like some of you feel like you have to hold on to your money, to some of your resources, you know, to stay. It's like managing, managerial. Remember, the Queen of Pentacles is great at managing things, and managing money, managing resources. Okay, because she knows how many days she has before she gets the next check. And everybody's got to eat and all the bills got to get paid, right? But she's got something she's got to go after. And because of this focus, she's holding on to things. And I, and I can guarantee you some of this is definitely about building a business. Some of you are returning to school. Even though I don't see, I do see that here because that's why I saw it because of the King of Wands. The King of Wands is often an educator. Even a coach, you know what I'm saying? For the masculines, um, the reasons for their energy based on the queen of wands is the nine of wands. 
when I see this nine of wands, I see a young man defending, protecting um, his interest, his passions. It's not like the other nine of wands and other decks where they look like they kind of cautious. No, this one right here is preparing for war. <laughs> if anybody come near my shit, it's they're going to get this. You know, if anybody come near my woman, they're going to get this. He's protective. He's being protective because of this queen of pentacles. Why does the masculine need to be protective? Because this queen of pentacles. Remember I said, I seen her like, hmm. She was thinking like that. I could use her. Like she got something in mind. But right now he's feeling protective of this feminine. Who may be an earth sign herself. Because it's stemming from the three of pentacles. They in a contract together. So let's find out what your special message is. Feminines. Your special message is coming from the lovers. Which was once your overall um, energy and that is stemming from the Four of Cups, okay? Masculines, your special message is coming from the devil. Carl the Plumber. <laughs> and that is because of rejuvenation. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a separation here. I'm feeling like for the feminines, it's like they're saying, we're going to be able to be together because of a separation. You're going to be able to be together with, but there's some, some, there is some, This is this may be coming out of confusion because the lovers always bring some type of interference or something. But this is without a shadow of a doubt. There's going to be a coming together with another, with your mate. This is, I'm hearing, this is like Adam and Eve. This is a new beginning. But it's, it's due to a separation. Some of you is letting go of the foolishness. You're going to be able to be together because you let go of the foolishness. Something is being done away with when it comes to romance at work. But that's funny because the feminines have not been having their mind on, on love, really. They've been more focused on that passion, but now here it comes. Some of you are going to find your lover in your vicinity, in your neighborhood, through a sibling, something. But it's all due to some kind of separation. I don't know if they're going to leave their job or they're leaving another a person, some separation. The separation may have already happened and now you can be together, but it's a coming together. Some of you, this is divine connection. This is a divine connection. Like I said, then I say with like Adam, Adam and Eve, divine connection. It's nowhere around it. It's nowhere around it. And I'm also hearing when the cat's away, the mice will play in the lover's card. Masculines. You're trying to stop something. Like, unstop. It's like you're trying to stop something by unstopping something. Like, fix it. Like a plunge. Like, a, like you're trying to Fix your plunger like you're trying to fix your toilet. 
that kind of thing is going on right now. Because you want to, you want, you want, you want to do, get something. You want to stop this. You want to protect somebody because you want to be free. You feel you could be free if you could stop something. It's like once you let go, once you free yourself. It's like you could have your connection, but you're puzzled about how to do it. You don't know how to do it. You're perplexed about it because it's based on a manager. And maybe you don't know how to stop it. And this is also whatever you want to do. It's, it's, it's all about good judgment. When you do make that decision, you'll do it appropriately. It'll be a good judgment. And for some of you masculine, some people are perplexed by your freedom, by your, your newfound freedom, your coming alive, your release. You, you, you may have released something or another yourself, even though it's in the feminine energy. Yeah. Release and let go. And with that being said, I'm going to stop it right here. And thank you so much for tuning in to Spirit Buys a Romance at Work, your raw story, the climax. I hope to see you over at the raw story. If not, take care of yourself until the next time. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.